Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Neo Fight the Action RPG Arena Survival Roguelike. We're on difficulty level four, challenge level four, stronger enemies. So bigger, bigger waves, elite enemies, tougher enemies, so more HP, and stronger enemies, which I can only imagine is more damage. Uh, on top of the fact that, you know, uh, technically it's the fifth difficulty level of six, kind of. We'll go for Power Fist. We haven't used that in a bit. Chain Lightning, Apparition, Lava Chakram. I mean, Lava Chakram makes sense with this build. Boop. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. We're gonna be up close and personal, anywho. Might as well get some chakrams going. Mighty little throwback. I mean, I feel like at this point, obviously we have sort of done every build to an extent. So it's kind of just like now I kind of want to overcome the difficulty levels and see where we're at. You know, that's that's the plan for now. Oh my god, this. Move is so good. I do love the chakrams. Uh, crit chance power just right out the gate. Do I just take it? I'm gonna do it. And then uh, crits ignite enemies, dealing your damage. Yeah. Give me more crit chance. Sure. That's it. That is an interesting start. Like getting this immediately is a good good beginning because now i can build i can get like go for crit chance and power instead of kind of going even for a crit damage angle like obviously i'm not gonna pass up crit damage if it's there over like compared to other garbage but all in all it's an interesting get this is a weird time that whoop, going for full melee when everything does as much damage as it's doing this is no joke. The damage increase. Holy moly. Like, because this is... This is just like the first real, you know, challenge. It's pretty brutal. Uh, Drain Soul? I feel like I'll just always take Drain Soul. Uh, bonus life equal to max your mana. When are we taking maximum life? Stun all enemies. Dash further. I, like, it's not that these are bad, I just, I want to do more. Power increased? Sure. Critical damage, max mana. So that's the thing, is like... Actually, no, I want, I want mana regen. I'm assuming this can crit. It can. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, mana regen would go a long way. Mana regen, power, crit, chance. It's not that I'm going to actively say no crit damage... It's just that I think we can find an interesting, unique, and strong build out of going for power and crit chance. Uh, due to the fact that we can make it so whoop, we're doing our power as crit damage anyways, so we don't need to juggle like a third possible stat. Because power and crit chance are already going to be helpful, even if they didn't synergize together. This is just a this is just a good set of moves right now. This is just like a damage god setup. I'm going to take power. I see power, I will take power. Potions drop more often. I don't think I can take the overall crit chance halved. I will take more potions. Crit chance. Life life per second, I'm not re-rolling. That's one I feel like I need often. I need healing. So how are we looking for like when we crit and then walk away? Does it? Oh God, that is so satisfying. Oh my word. I'm a freaking blender. I'm the little blender that could. This is solid. I wouldn't mind uh, basic attacks restore mana. We could get even more chakrams out for even more blender action. I don't know how this is going to go in like the poison biome with like more stuff on the ground is going to get us. But hey, that's it. That's a future me problem. That's that's me in 5 minutes problem. You know, way off in the future. 
Oh yeah, Invigorate. Restore 100% of your maximum mana. Every 8 excess mana restored grants attack speed. But increases the cooldown of this spell by one second. I mean, it's just an interesting call. I'm just... I think it's just neat. Crit chance is increased by mana missing. That's just so integral to how strong this could be. Uh, I think we can do better. Wow, that was lucky. I mean, like, look at this. That's silly. This is silly. I don't, honestly, we might have a completed build. I think I might have a completed build. Oops. Hit half health already, which is pretty silly. Oh god, there's that damage. I just wanted to see if we could giga slap him. And the answer is yes. Obviously, I got giga slapped too. But that was pretty spicy. Ooh. This is this is a very glass cannon. Like we could have done that safer and not taken a thousand damage. But hey. Oh my god, six and a half minutes. Wait, what? Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna go for the heal. Powers increase for each spell on cooldown. I mean, that's not bad. We'll have two spells on cooldown pretty regularly. I'm I want health. I, like I actually I hate my my life bar right now. I think it's it's abysmal. Abysmal. Okay. Let's put our stuff on cooldown. Oh my god, things things melt. That is for sure. Pretty much want to spam E when it's off cooldown. Because then we can get even more chakrams going. And max mana is now interesting because of Invigorate. Single-handedly, the, the existence of this spell... Like, obviously, you can use it two ways. You can use it the uh, the logical, like, I want to restore my mana way. or But you can also use it in a way to... Um, oh, my God. To get a bunch of attack speed. This is just kind of like a nice weird run where I kind of want both. During combat, you lay mines as you move that last for 10 seconds to explode. I've never seen this. Is this new? Uh, during combat, you lay mines as you move the last, that last 10 seconds and explode upon contact with enemies. I... I mean, it's really interesting, but I'm going to go with the, like, obvious synergistic thing here. Me, yeah, I'm going to... Sure. I'll take I'll take crit damage, but, like, holy moly. I mean, crit, yeah, as I mentioned, crit damage is not... It's not bad for us. It's very good for us. It is very, very good. Whoop. God, I do love the heal based off the mana you spend thing. That's gonna be that's gonna be really nice too. All these potions dropping. If only these chakrams block bullets, we'd be uh, absolutely even more set than we already are. But yeah, the poison on the ground was kind of the concern I had of if anything. Oh my god. As of right now. This is definitely the most powerful build I've had. Like, it is just destroying everything immediately. It's very glass cannon, though, as of right now. It could be it could be less glass cannon. Like, don't get me wrong, there's things I could have taken instead. 
Hmm? More max mana mixed with this is now really interesting. It immediately became super interesting. Because more mana means more healing right now as well. Like, I, I'm just really excited there that there is a perk that makes it feel like maximum mana is really good. Oh, god. Because I have not felt too much of a draw for max mana in this game yet based off of a lot of the perks. Uh-oh. This is dangerous, though. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god! That is so satisfying, oh my god! Just keep dashing, just keep dashing, just keep dashing. I'm gonna see my health going down just a little bit. Drop that, shift the button. Fine. Oh my word. Oh, that was dangerous. That was a lot of poison. Could have been bad. But it was not. This build's gross. This build's gross. Uh, thick hide. I, n no question I'm taking that. Dashing through enemies marks them for 1.5 seconds and when they take spell damage. It's consumed for 200% of your power as damage. Dash further and the cooldown's reduced. Oh, I wish we could have both so bad. I think this is actually like a bit safer. Weird. We're not on the boss, are we? Okay, I was gonna say. I don't know that we're inherently very far off of it, though. Okay. Let's smash the move out here. Yeah, the, the lower cooldown dash means we are actually getting more kills, too. That's the thing, too. Look at that. Because we're, we're able to use our blade more. You can also use it to pick up these potions more effectively. There's like a lot of benefits to it. Like, obviously I like dashing. Shock, shock, shock. Man who played 1,500 hours of Gungeon likes to roll in his action roguelike, but whoop. Look at it go, look at it go. Whoa. Okay, we gotta be careful. Game a little bit dangerous. Move a little bit slower for a second. Man! This build is stupid. Stupid. Very stupid. 13 minutes. Ay ay ay. This is gonna. We're gonna either win spectacularly or blow up. Whenever you cast a lightning spell, you get max mana and mana regen. Um, well, your mana is above 80. Uh, that's not going to work. Whenever you take 35% of your maximum life, it's cumulative damage, stun, stun all enemies. I kind of need survivability right now. And by that, I mean, give me more mana. Huge. That's actually really nice. All right. How the hell is this going to go? Uh Okay. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. That is silly. <laughs> 14 minutes. Oh my god.
crit damage. I, a fairy, fairy ring is probably a take. Do 14 more damage, 14% more damage to nearby enemies? Yes. I'm gonna go with life. Okay. All right, because I, I just like we have the damage. Obviously, we have the the most damage I have ever had. Okay. Just run in, pop those fools. Yeah, that's gonna be a little bit trickier. There are some enemies on this floor that are a little rough for a melee build. Oh boy. I think we'll be okay, but like the spinning Beyblade fools are, are a little bit tricky for us. But yeah, uh, also, yeah, range damage, defense, very much looking forward to uh, finding more, hopefully. Whoop. Oh! It is obscene! Nice. Next. Health regen. Whenever you cast a fire spell, you gain 2.5 crit chance and critical damage. Uh, yeah, I think I can do that. Uh, max HP. Fine, I'll take double regen. I, I don't I don't think it's worth re-rolling and risking getting something silly. All right, we will always have this um this five stacks of critical business. That's why I went for this. It just seemed... It's so synergistic in that way. Okay. Watch that HP. Oh my god. We can spend a lot of mana, meaning we can heal for a lot too. We picked a, a really like nice path that makes it so our aggro potential is also... It doubles as a little bit of sustain in a sort of small way. But away, nonetheless. This is just filthy. Look at him pop. Okay. Like, I could still surprise explode. That's the thing about this game. Like, if that thing shows up that lets me, um... Go ahead and just get a free revive if I die, I will take it. I have no doubt in my mind that that is one of the best things we could have. Because we're so strong, we don't need more damage. We just don't. Will I take it? Probably. But we don't need it. Uh, whenever you stun, fear, or ruin an enemy, it takes 170% of your power as lightning damage over two seconds. That's actually pretty good. Um, Grit, this is new. That's right. 50% of any of the damage you take is staggered. That's very nice. Uh, range resist. If anything could kill us, it'd probably be that. A bit of attack speed. Don't mind if I do. We do like attack speed. Okay, look for the laser eye boys. Maybe I've been killing them for all I know. They may have just been in the middle at somewhere. There they are. There's one. No, I don't think so. I think this is the first wave they're in. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we don't care about range damage. Everything is just popping. Yeah, Lightning Fist is really strong. But, like, this, is, this was just a beautiful combination is all this was. Beautiful combination. Really lucky set of perks. And I would say, you know, like, well-chosen perks. I really think so. Like, we we found a great way to, like, make a bunch of choices that seem like they're glass cannon. But I had other perks that made them uh, kind of rounded out. 
That being said, do, am I, do I still have the fear that we could pop at some point because enemies have increased damage and the boss is coming up? Yeah, but I'm increasingly, increasingly sure that this is just very strong. Whenever you cast a defensive spell, you drop... Is this a defensive spell? No. Range resist is... It's probably the, one of the best things we could get right now. Nice. Second to last wave, probably? Maybe? Maybe, maybe. Next. It took a it took a while to dissipate. There we go. 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 Potion on uh, on defensive spell wouldn't have been bad. It would have been better if we could get if we had a second defensive spell there. Man, max mana up being good finally. Like the, knowing that 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 uh, spell exists in the pool literally changes everything. I'm not I'm not kidding. It takes that stat from being it's it's not that it's useless. But I don't know, people were trying to defend it in ways that like really only apply to like a PVP game or uh or like MMO rating, but it's not the same. It's not the same in this game when it's a, a constant fight. It's a constant fight. It's not like um, it's not even like a like a action RPG where max mana matters because maybe you'll get a surprise boss fight or like not boss fight a surprise elite that you have to deal with or something like that. In a game like this where it is constant fight, fight over, uh, it's not that big of a deal. But when you have a, a move that restores 100% of max, it's a different story. Does that ruin does that ruin our build? That might that might ruin it. During combat, you lay mines as you move that last for 10 seconds, explode on contact with enemies, doing 50% of your power as damage to all. Yeah, just yep. For regen. What is this? Whenever you spend mana, gain melee and range resist stacking up to seven dollars. That's so good for us. We are it's my secret cap. I'm always spending mana. We have ways to completely keep ourselves fully capped out here. Okay, get the range guy. Go, 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 go. Go fast, go fast. Oh my god, you can really tell how he does have a lot of increased health, because otherwise he would be dead by now. All that range resist and everything is really nice here, too. Watch out for the fire that that guy leaves, and the boss is dead. This is by far the stupidly strongest build I've I've had in Neo Fight. No doubt. No doubt doubt about it. 23 minutes makes that pretty obvious, does it not? Holy god. What a dumb build. Brang. Yeah, when this comes out uh, on... Wait, is it going to be out in it? 31st. Uh, when this comes out tomorrow, hey, that's the build you should go for. After standing still for 1.5 seconds, you gain 20 power, 20%, 20% power, 30% melee and range resist, and knockback immunity. They decay over two seconds after moving. I mean, hey, again, this boulder stance in this game is actually kind of appealing. In a lot of other games where mobility is really required, it, it's, I would say that seems like it would suck, but since spells do root you in place... I mean, it's actually okay in this game uh, to be rooted in place for that long because it's just 
it's balanced around that. Uh, whenever you kill 80 enemies, you go berserk to gain 80% attack speed, 35% movement speed, and heal for 1% of spell damage dealt for 9 seconds. That would have been really good today. I were maxed out. We've done it. We've done it. We've capped out. Uh, wow. Shorter video today because I was godly strong. Uh, but let's see. More elites. Hey, I like that as a final one. All right. Well, we'll be back at it again tomorrow for, uh, I guess, for release day uh, where we will check out the final difficulty level. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today for Neophyte. If you want more, you're going to have to let me know, especially if you want more after um, uh, we beat difficulty five i don't know if we'll do that tomorrow or the next day or what but if you want more after that point let me know thank you for watching uh check out the channel for roguelike some more every single day and i will see you next time short video this feels weird but bye <laughs>